All right, so we're gonna do something a little different uh, this time. Basically, I'm going to have this set up where it'll be going behind him. And it's really simple to do, so we'll see what we come up with. All right, so basically you just go over here, make sure uh, you have a race on here on that layer make this the proper size. Okay, so I want this to go behind him, all right? So you gotta be really careful kind of where you have that end up. You might have to go back, you know, depending on uh, if you do it right or not. All right, so then it comes forward, right? And it goes backwards, so a little more iffy with the hair, but you could go in there really detailed and, and just do something similar. Oops, I went too far. Looking at something else, not paying attention. That's what I do. All right, so let's say right here. Get all this, and we're gonna probably put it about right here. It's coming out. All right, and then it's four and then it's going back. So, try to get this. All right, and, I mean, it's not perfect, but it's not too bad. So, something so simplistic makes it look like it's actually going around. Um, and of course, you could do something more. Get on this layer, all right? And let's say this is darker. And you want to have like this emanating a little bit of light so you go to um, dodge all right and then anywhere this would be you just hit that dodge like it's giving off light now I've done this on a few things and sometimes it doesn't work out real well so it kind of depends on uh, what the picture is but of course there are different ways you can do this all right, then we'll have a uh, do some right here. You don't have to get all into it and stuff, but yeah, you get the gist of it. All right, so all right, we have that set up. Then you could go back, and let's say we want some soft light. We'll draw this opacity down, kind of match that color. It's a bluish, whitish. Um, make this a little bigger, and then where it would be glowing Whoop. Uh, yeah where you think it would be glowing that's a little too light still too light bring it up so all right so you can kind of give it a glowish effect like I would have it more going around this way and then um yeah, this is definitely not the best example to show you, but yeah. All right, so say here, I would say it'd, it'd be more glowish, like around here. Get in a little more there, a bit down here. And of course you have this, now you can refine it. Go back, go over how many ever times you need it to, to show that it's given off its light and stuff, but this picture wasn't the best example. Uh, I just grabbed what I was using previously for another video. But yeah, you you go back and paint wherever you feel. Like I would say the glow would be all over this. Further down too. Coming down this way. I do believe that's about it but yeah this is just something simplistic that you can do yeah the video ran a little longer than I wanted to but yeah you know it's something really easy to do also how I had this set up in the first place um, I made a layer all right and 
then you pick a style you can pick whatever style that you want and this will basically oops I didn't mean to do that one oh. let's say down here all right we'll do this right here all right so then you just hit the layer and then you can change that and you can paint so you're painting whatever style that you choose and I have a ridiculous amount and experiment around with it you can do a uh, liquidish looking uh, if you want but yeah it's it's actually really fun to, to mess around with this if you want and anyway I uh, hope you enjoyed and learned a little something <laughs>